All right, so continuing with the afternoon performances here uh, at Culture Fest, we've got the Netakush Singers, comprised of women from the Wampanoag and Nipmuc tribal communities. In the Natick dialect of Algonquin, Netakush means my sister. In just a few minutes, the group will perform traditional and contemporary songs, accompanied by hand drums, rattles, and water drums. In addition, I'd like to also add that members of the Netakush Singers have brought original art and other items for sale that you can find at their table. Especially with Indigenous Peoples Day being Monday, we are grateful for the Netakush Singers to being a part of today's event in the midst of many other obligations and demands of their time. I would especially like to recognize Deborah Spears-Moorhead, co-founder of the group, and our original point of contact for this event, She's an award-winning artist, author, and culture bearer of the Seekonk, Poconoket, Wampanoag tribal nation. As a direct descendant of Massasoit, Supreme Sachem of Wampanoag Nation in 1620, Deborah has used her immense artistic, musical, and spiritual talents to create greater awareness about our local indigenous peoples and has inspired us all to be allies in her efforts. Let's all give Deborah and the Netakush singers a warm welcome. Hello out there, Kiwanamush. Hello. Watasawis, Katu Sipu. My name is Talking Water. My English name is Deborah Spears Moorhead. We are the Netakush Singers. I'm a Seekonk Wampanoag in many of the tribes of the East Coast. Kiwanamush, Nima, Natasawis, Monchana Makasusqua, in Dai Nipmuc. Good afternoon. English morning we Pam Ellis. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Pam Ellis. My native name is Monchana Makasusqua, woman who does good things for the people. I'm Nipmuc. Nipmuc means freshwater people. And we're very happy. I'm very happy to be here with you today. And along with Deb Moorhead, I've been singing with the thing, with the Netakush singers for how long is it now? About 30, 30 years. 30 years. And wow. <laughs> thanks for coming out today for this beautiful program. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jasmine Moorhead. I am Debbie Moorhead's daughter. Um, my native name is Sunflower. What is it? That's it. <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Jacqueline. My name is Pawtuck, it means waterfall. Um, we're really happy to be here today. So. Uh, I want to thank Bell Forge and Medfield, the city or town of Medfield, and Chris McHugh and Jean, and all the volunteers that have helped to put this program together. It looks like it's the beginning of something that's going to be really good. So um, when we, s yeah. <laughs> All right. So when we sing, we sing in vocables. So you're not going to understand what we're saying. Sometimes we sing in English. Sometimes we sing in vocables that, because when tribes would get together, they didn't all speak the same dialect of the Algonquin language, so they sang vocables. So if you don't understand, it's OK. When we say heya, heya, that means like we're bringing the creator, great spirit, to us. Uh -huh. Na posh na posh na posh na posh na tush kanona nam to watch in a kush ni na walk to moon and ash we are he we are he we are he aha we are he we are he we are he aha stand up stand up stand up stand up Listen to our song, for we are not a good native and strong. We are hey, we are hey, we are hey, aha. We are hey, we are hey, we are hey, aha. Na posh, na posh, na posh, na posh, na tush kanona na. Tawachi nera kush nera wa tamuna nash. We are he, we are he, we are he, aha. We are he, we are he, we are he, aha. 
Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, and listen to our song. For we are yet a cush, native and strong. Well, Pam and I wrote that song. Yeah. We're the first generation Netikush singers. Jasmine wrote this next song. They're the second generation, or seventh generation. And one of the things that I, I just wanted to mention here is that it feels really good to be here this day, today, um, with Creator blessing the day, with the sun out, um, to bring the language of our ancestors back here to this place uh, and to sing it and to speak it here with you. My, my, my next generation song is Four Voices. Um, I, I wrote it on the way while we, we were all um, on a driving together to sing in Saratoga. And um, I had like the, uh, the melody in my mind, but I, wasn't sure what the song was going to be about. And then um, uh, a red BMW went by us, and the um, license plate said four voices. So that's what this song is called. So here it goes. Yeah. I don't remember it. <laughs> way uh, hey, uh, hey. We are four voices. We are, hey, ah, hey. We are four voices. We are. We are. I sing the east song. I sing the north song. I sing the west song. I sing the south song. We are. We are. We are, hey, ah, hey. We are four voices. We are, hey, ah, hey, we are for voices. We are, we are. I sing the eagle song. I sing the hawk song. I sing the fox song. I sing the wolf song. We are, we are, we are, hey, ah, hey, we are for voices. We are, hey, ah, hey. We are for voices, we are, we are. I sing tobacco song. I sing the sage song. I sing the cedar song. I sing the sweetgrass song. We are, we are, we are, hey, ah, hey. We are for voices, we are, hey, ah, hey. We are for voices, we are. Where I sing the spring song, I sing the summer song, I sing the autumn song, I sing the winter song. Where are, where are, hey, ah, hey, we are for voices. Where are, hey, ah, hey, we are for voices. Where are, where are. Okay, this song is Someone. I wrote this for a couple of friends of mine. They fell in love at my house. This, is, this song was given, to, um, was given to friends of Deb, one of whom is a gentleman by the name of William Yellowrobe, an award-winning playwright of the Assiniboine uh, people from out in Montana. Um, he has walked on, he's no longer, he went on to the next part of his journey. Um, but we'll always remember him here for the wonderful stories that he told and that he gave to us. Today here at first light. What? Say that again. Today here at first light. 
Today here at First Light, Manitou Katabatash. I thank Creator up above, Manitou Katabatash, for sending me someone to love. from up above way I Yes, definitely. Um, one, of, one of the things that one of the things I'm going to be doing tomorrow uh, over this weekend is I'm going to be heading out to Deer Island in Boston Harbor uh, for a memorial. Um, during uh, October of 1675, um, there was something that began uh, a resistance that was known to many people as King Philip's War. How many people here have heard of King Philip's War? Yeah. Um, there were devastating consequences from King Philip's War um, for indigenous people here um, in this area. And we, um, most of us who are here today, for many Nipmuc people, we are the direct descendants. I'm a 13th generation survivor of a civilian internment out on Deer Island. Um, Deer Island looks now like a peninsula, but it wasn't filled in until the 1930s. The Shirley Gut Channel was actually um, filled in, and so it became a peninsula, but before that it actually was an island. 
And um, my ancestors were removed. Um, actually, this group of ancestors happened to be removed from um, what was then the village of Natick. And um, they were taken under musket guard and put in um, leg irons and um, their hands were bound and they were taken down the Charles, Charles River uh, and across Boston Harbor and out onto Deer Island. And they were left there with no food or clothing or shelter. Uh, and about, a, about 500 people in total were taken out there and about 150 people returned um, after the winter out on Deer Island. This song I wrote is a prayer song for Deer Island and it's a song that is for those who did not return and also for those who did return. So it's a, it's a, a song that's about loss and mourning but it's also a song that um, is about my hope for, for the future. Thank you. This song I wrote, it's about being descendants of, uh, of the Nipmucks and Wampanoags and Massasoit and King Philip and Aura, his wife, Massasoit's wife, found out her name's Aura. Okay, so it goes. The Makasanash walk these paths, keeping the dreams for seven generations. We are, we are. Tried to put us down, but as then and now we 
dreams for seven generations. Sassafras, cedar, and sweet grass. Thank you. What do you want to sing now? Sweet. Traveling song? What about? Wait, hey, these two go check out. What? I don't know, but uh, let's sing this one. Oh, I, I mixed up the... What? Aoutash. Oh, yeah, I forgot that song. Aoutash Wampanoag. Aoutash Narragansett. Aoutash Nimak. Aoutash Pequot. There's an epidemic going around. <coughs> it's not the pandemic. It's um, missing and murdered um, women from the native uh, people. Um, there's over 500,000 women missing, and we're, we're looking for them, and we're really trying to make people aware of this and that we're not getting the same kind of... Um, Uh, municipalities effort, effort. effort um, with the municipalities to look for the women that are Native American and it's mostly because um, the authorities are, are not um, able to go on to reservations and um, look so um, there's a real uh, problem I wrote a song about it Pam do you want to talk about it a little bit I don't think I'm getting my point across very well you, well the, the MMIW, or Murdered and Missing Indigenous Women, some of you may actually have seen the red handprint that um, a number of people around Indian country have been using, and it's a red um, hand, handprint. Let me say it first before I put my hand over my mouth. Um, and it's like, it's like that, and it's red. Um, and it's come to symbolize the Murdered and Missing Indigenous Women. Um, and as Deb said, um, you know, especially in, in states like uh, Arizona or South Dakota and some other states where you have large, um, you know, you have large federal Indian reservations, it's a jurisdictional mess in terms of who's supposed to be looking um, and who's supposed to be investigating certain crimes and um, whether it, it took place on the reservation or off the reservation, if it was committed by a tribal member, not a tribal member. Um, whether it comes under federal jurisdiction, tribal jurisdiction, or state jurisdiction. So there's really been um, a, a mess, and the people who've been victimized mostly by this have been um, murdered and missing um, indigenous women and girls. Um, so here we go. 
Red is the color that spirit can see. Won't you tell me, great spirit, can you find me? Way out, way out, way out, hey yo. justice our song is our prayer we never will stop until all are aware that there's missing and murdered and two spirits too children stolen put in residential schools Way ah, hey yo. Way ah, hey yo. Yes, our native lives matter, our voice to be heard. Dignity, respect, and honor is what we deserve. We are hey yo. We are hey yo. We are hey yo. Yes, our native lives matter. Our hearts falling down. We never will stop searching till all have been found. 